Amalia, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my own bookshelf tour inspired by Shahira from Book Loves. Her video is just so cool, you have to check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you Shahira for inspiring me to do this because it looks like a lot of fun and so I'm really looking forward to do it. And as you can see behind me, my bookshelf is here. Or like one of my bookshelves, I have another mini shelf that I'll show you um, afterwards. But um, yeah, I actually had to move it from that side because the lighting just makes my bookshelf look more spectacular and I'm just like, I just had to move it. So let's get started. So first we have The Winner's Curse by Marie Ritkowski, followed by the Mara Dyer trilogy, starting with The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer. Obviously, I have not read these, but I plan to very soon. And then we've got the Lunar Chronicles series, starting with the standalone Fairest, the first book Cinder, Scarlet, and lastly Cress. Next we've got The Young Elise by Marie Lu, which is the only book that I have in this series because there's only one book right now and I have not read it. And then we've got the Legend Trilogy, starting with Legend, Prodigy, and Champion. Alright, let's move over to this side where we have some of my favorites. We've got Tales of Beetle the Bard by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets also by J.K. Rowling, Harry Potter and the Prison of Azkaban, The Goblet of Fire, The Order of the Phoenix, The Half-Blood Prince, last but not least, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Unfortunately, this one is not in the Bloomsbury edition, so it absolutely does not match, unfortunately. And then we've got my favorite young adult um, trilogy, I mean series, uh, yeah, Throne of Glass series, starting with Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. This is not the edition that I want, so I'll have to get like the other edition soon, but this is actually kind of nice. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas as well. I don't have the third book, Air of Fire, right now because my friend is borrowing it, but I do have the prequel, The Assassin's Blade. And I've also got the fourth book, Queen of Shadows, which I am currently reading right now. Alright, let's move on to over here. We've got Heroes of Olympus, The Lost Hero, The Mark of Athena by Rick Ryden, the fourth book, The House of Hades, also by Rick Ryden, the fifth book, The Blood of Olympus, and also the second book, The Son of Neptune. Unfortunately, this one is in a different edition or like a different size. I decided to put it at the end because then it wouldn't look that pretty. Then we've got um, the Infernal Devices books, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare, Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. Also, my favorite cover of this series, Clockwork Princess. I have yet to read this series, but a lot of people have saying it's really, really good, and I am really looking forward to it. So here we've got a lot of random contemporaries and unfinished series and stuff like that. So yeah, we've got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, Requiem by Lauren Oliver, Life Saving for Beginners by Ciara Girakti, The Night's Rainbow by Claire King. By the way, isn't the cover just like gorgeous? I love it so much. Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. That Summer also by Sarah Dessen. Silver Bay by Jojo Moyes. This was 90% off, I totally had to buy it. And then we've got Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Lola and the Boy Next Door also by Stephanie Perkins. And the last one by Stephanie Perkins is Isla and the Happily Ever After. I recently just got this and I'm so happy that I can match it with the other two. It looks so pretty together, they're my favourites from this part of the shelf. And then we've got Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. The Catastrophic History of You and Me by Jess Rothenberg. Last but not least, Dr. Bird's Advice for Sad Poets by Evan Ruskos. Alright, let's move on to the bottom ones. We've got The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. The second book, The Ask and the Answer, also by Patrick Ness. The Maze Runner Trilogy, starting with, of course, The Maze Runner, followed by The Scorch Trials and The Death Cure. We've also got The Hunger Games Trilogy, starting with The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins, and my least favorite in the series, Marking Jay by Suzanne Collins. Can't wait for the movie though. Alright guys, next we've got The Shatter Me Trilogy, starting from Shatter Me by Tahira Mafi. Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi and Ignite Me by Tahara Mafi. I love this cover the most, it is just gorgeous. Next I've got Necropolis by Anthony Horowitz, which is the fourth book in the Power of Five series. And then we've got Oblivion by Anthony Horowitz, which is the fifth book in the Power of Five series. I absolutely love the series, I wish I had all of the books. 
Last on this section is Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. I have not read this yet, it's still wrapped in plastic. So we've got a lot of random books on this side as well. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. Shadow of Night also by Deborah Harkness. Glimpse by Carol Lynch Williams. Kite Runner by Khalid Hosini. A Thousand Splendid Suns also by Khalid Hosini. I love this book. Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alkalis. Rules of Attraction also by Simone Alkalis. And Chain Reaction also by Simone Alkalis. I have not read this one in um, these three books. Um, I read the other two on ebook when I was younger and they were pretty great. Next I've got <laughs> Next I've got Butter by Erin Jade Lange. The Gift by James Patterson. Sleeping Freshman Never Lie by David Lubar. Once by Morris Gleitzman. A Stranger Like You by Elizabeth Brundage. Zoe Letting Go by Nora Price. We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. And last but not least, Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. This one's actually not mine, it's my friend's, but it has been in my possession for around 3-4 years because I have not gotten around to start it. I am so sorry, Fariha. So the ones at the top of my shelf are the really pretty ones that I could not find a better place to put them at because, let's face it, I need a bigger shelf. So the first one is Us by David Nichols, the author of One Day. Does My Head Look Big in This by Randa Abdul Fattah, which is actually Nabila's book that I am borrowing. It's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizini. Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I am in love with this book. To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han and P.S. I Still Love You Also by Jenny Han. I love this duology, it is beautiful and the covers are just gorgeous. The Story Life of AJ Fikri by Gabrielle Zivin. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. And we've got one of my favorite adult contemporaries, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Just a Girl Standing in Front of a Boy by Lucy Ann Holmes. I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson and The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. The Apple Tart of Hope by Sarah Morfis Gerald, one of my favorites ever. Wonder by RJ Palacio. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell Perks of Being a Wallflower by Steven Schwoski Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore by Robin Sloan Tuesdays with Maury and The Five People You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Albom Demonium by Lauren Oliver which is the second book in the Delirium Trilogy And then we've got the classics Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen Dracula by Bram Stoker Portrait of a Lady by Henry James Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte Persuasion by Jane Austen and last but not least, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Now we've got my other shelf. It's a lot smaller. This is my old shelf, so let's take a look. We've got The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. The Lover's Dictionary by David Levithan. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The Museum of Extraordinary Things by Alice Hoffman. Versus AA Plus BB and Anthem by Hello Read, which are actually Malay books. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Yes, you can start singing the song in your head now. And lastly, The Bookshop Book by Jen Campbell. Fun fact, Jen Campbell is also a booktuber. Here we've got my A Song of Ice and Fire books. Starting with um, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. A Clash of Kings. A Dance with Dragons. A Feast for Crows. A Storm of Swords, um, part one and part two. Yes, the book is that gigantic that they have to put it into two books. And the random one in the shelf is The Reunion by Simone van der v I'm not even going to try to say that last part. Unfortunately, my Game of Thrones books are not all in the same edition, which is extremely disappointing, but that's okay. Here we've got my The Model Instrument series and two other random books. We've got City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, Lastly, City of Heavenly Fire, which is the final book and I actually did not finish this book. I am not sure why. It was kind of boring for me at first and I don't know. I feel like I should finish it just to finish the series, but I don't even really like the series, so we'll see. And then I've got 0.4 by Mike Lancaster. <laughs> this is one of the coolest titles I've ever seen. And The Shadow of the Crescent Moon by Fatima Bhutto. Okay, down here we've got a lot more random stuff. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Keep Holding On by Susan Colasanti. And this book reminds me of Avril Lavigne's song. Head Over Heels by Kate Forster. The Traveling Tea Shop by Belinda Jones. The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. 
Uh, this is actually not my book. This is it's my senior's book. I'm not sure why I have not returned it. Guilt by Catherine Longshore. The Crane Wife by Patrick Ness. In Her Shoes by Jennifer Weiner. Dare Me by Megan Abbott. What the Boy Wants by Nye Ray Dawn. Because of Low by Abby Glines. And last but not least, The Marriage Bargain by Jennifer Probst. I accidentally left out Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. And also Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I'm not sure why I forgot this one. So yeah, those are most of the books that are on my bookshelf. I actually have a few others downstairs that I can't be bothered to get, like the Twilight Saga and stuff. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will be seeing you guys in my next video hopefully. Yeah, bye!